Hey, what's up? Are you getting into home recording or are looking for tips to step up your game? Look no further, this video is for you. Hey, what's going on? My name is Matt, also known as The Brock. If you don't know who I am, I'm a professional trumpet player and YouTuber, and I'm here to give you some advice on microphones and how you can improve your home recording setup. But before we get started, please support my channel by hitting a like on this video, subscribing, and turning on notifications so you never miss a new video. I create a new video every single week so please make sure you ring that notification bell so you don't miss them. And also, if you really want to genuinely support my channel, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash thebrocktrumpet. Donations start at only $1 a month, and even that smallest donation helps me out so much. All right, let's get started. So the two microphones that I'm going to talk about today are not USB microphones. They both require an XLR cable and an audio interface. And if you don't know what an audio interface is, it's pretty much a box that serves as the connection between the microphone and the digital audio workstation, which is on your computer. And the interface controls the gain, so you can control how much sound the microphone picks up. So not too much comes in where the microphone's clipping and not too little where it's not capturing all the sounds you wanna capture. And the audio interface I use is just a one channel interface. It's the Behringer UM2, and you can find that in the description, check it out. All right, the two microphones I'm gonna to compare today is the Behringer C1 and the Shure SM57. And at the end of this video, I'm going to play a few excerpts on each microphone so you can have a true sound comparison. All right, the first microphone I'm gonna talk about is the Behringer C1. This was the first microphone I got when I started home recording. It actually came in a bundle with the interface that I just talked about, along with a set of headphones. So it seemed like a good deal for me for just starting out and that all together was just $100, so it was a great deal for me, especially for someone who's just starting out. Behringer C1 is a large diaphragm microphone. You can think of microphones as musical instruments themselves. They come in different shapes and sizes. There's large diaphragm microphones and small diaphragm microphones. You can compare that to, say, brass instruments where there's cylindrical bore instruments like the trumpet and trombone, where there's also conical bore instruments like a flugelhorn, French horn, tuba euphonium. And the microphone vibrates and produces sound just as an instrument would. So the size and shape of the microphone really does make a difference in the sound that gets put out. I use the Behringer C1 for most of my videos actually from the very first one that came out to just two or three weeks ago when I bought a new microphone and tried a new one out. If you want to check out those videos to get an idea of the sound, you're more than welcome to. All right, the next microphone we're going to talk about is the Shure SM57. Now this microphone, unlike the Behringer C1, is a small diaphragm microphone. And you can tell just by the shape of it, it has more of a, if we want to compare it to um, brass instruments, it looks like it has a more cylindrical bore, where the Behringer C1 kind of gets larger as the microphone goes on. Now the Shure SM57 is really good for brass instruments because you can play right up to it. You can have the bell inches away from the microphone and it can take it, it can produce clean sounds. So you don't have to worry so much about space and having a stand six feet apart, for example. Whereas the Behringer C1, I like to have some distance from the microphone. I sometimes don't even aim directly at the microphone for the Behringer C1. But a disadvantage of the Shure SM57 is that it's a directional microphone meaning wherever the microphone is pointing is where the sound is gonna get captured from. So a player like me who likes to move around a little bit kind of has to sit still in order to make sure that I'm always aiming at the microphone. Whereas the Behringer C1 records sounds from multiple parts of the microphone. So using maybe reflective surfaces like gobos, it can pick up uh, the reverb of the room a little more. All right, I think I talked to you long enough. So I'm gonna play a few excerpts for you. For each excerpt, I'm gonna do a take using the Behringer C1, and I'm gonna do a take using the Shure SM57. And that way you have a side-by-side -side comparison of what both microphones sound like. I'm also gonna show you what it sounds like completely dry and what it sounds with a little bit of production. That's a noise gate, compression, reverb, and EQ. And these excerpts are gonna be a variety of styles, volumes, noise levels, and I'm gonna use three different instruments so you can tell how versatile these microphones are. B flat trumpet, flugelhorn, and the piccolo trumpet. And after you listen to these excerpts, I kinda of really wanna know what you think. So make sure you leave a comment and I'd love to chat with you about your opinions on the different microphones. All right, and just, and just a little disclaimer, some of these excerpts I haven't played in years, so. If they're not conservatory perfect, I deeply apologize. And let's just do this.
So what do you think? Do you prefer the Behringer C1 or the Shure SM57? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know your opinions. Once again, please make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I have a Patreon if you really want to support my channel. Check out some of my other videos because I make a new video every week. And speaking of that, see you next week.